Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Kathy. Okay, so we have a lot of stuff to cover today. Um, first thing I want to share is the Ornate Garden Suite. Um, so FYI, this is available starting today. This bundle is already on low inventory. So the Ornate Thanks bundle is already on low inventory. And the Ornate Garden Suite, if you want to get the entire package that is $136, is also on low inventory. So you can still order all of these items as of right now, but I'm going to be showing you how to make some stuff with it today. And I just wanted to give you a heads up that if you want to purchase these products, I would recommend getting them sooner than later because they likely are going to go on back order, or several of them are. Um, they are available now, like I said, through May 31st. There is a link uh, above this video in the description. If you tap on the screen, it, the description will pop up. You can shop with me at shoploveandstampin.com. So if you want to get any of this product, I would recommend getting it quickly. So let's show you what it is because I know we've kind of already seen it, but I thought that I would show you one more time. So this is the, I always get them mixed up, which one goes with which. So these two go together, and this is the Ornate Thanks Bundle. And then these two go together. Yes, I am in my new studio. And this is the Ornate Style Bundle. And we're going to be using both stamp sets today. And a fun discovery I made is that these dies coordinate beautifully with the stitched rectangle dies. So I always consider that a big win when dies or something that comes out work with something else. So I don't know that that was their intention, although it would not surprise me. Um, but they do work well together. So I wanted to show you that and I want to show you a couple of cards I've made. These were on my blog. So this is one of them. Hello, hello. And this is another one. Seriously grateful for everything. And this is just a thank you card. And then check these out. So I just die cut some of these so you could see. So these are from this set. And then here are, these are from the stitched rectangles. So look at this, how nicely these layer. Isn't that awesome? Or you could go smaller and leave a little bit more of a border like that. And then there's this beautiful one. I love this one, this cut. Here, I'm gonna put it on here so you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? And then this fits on it if you want to cover up like everything and just have this peeking out around the edges. Or you can go smaller and then it's more like it's matted and framed. Isn't that cool? So that, I just wanted to show you how well the stitched rectangles coordinate with this set because I think that that is something people might miss and it's an important thing to know. So you know now that they coordinate and that's awesome. So if you already have the stitched rectangles, then fantastic, you could get these dies and now you're gonna have these really cool matted um, stitched rectangles. If you don't have either one of these and you're not crazy about the stamp sets, you could buy both of these. Either way, um, if you do purchase anything, shop loveandstampin.com. I do not currently have a host code available. I have a special happening later in the month. 
These, um, like I said earlier, there's already some parts and pieces on the low inventory status list. I checked it right before our Facebook Live. So if you do want to get any of these supplies, you might wanna order them. All right, so let's make something. So I posted a picture. Oh, I was gonna show you the other products really quick. Um, so this is the paper, and I know I've already shown this before, but I thought I would just show it again really fast. So this is the paper that comes if you get the entire suite of products. You would get this paper. And then these are the Gilded Gems, which I love. They're gorgeous. And then there's this fantastic embossing folder that makes a really pretty floral pattern. Hello, hello, welcome. And then there's these two ribbons that are matching. Okay, so um, I think that's everything. I'm probably missing something, but let's move on to our project, shall we? Okay, so I have lots of parts and pieces here so I can finish this card. I colored this card earlier and I put it on Instagram and I thought, or I should say this isn't the card, but this is a piece of it. So I colored this earlier and put it on Instagram and I did, and it was also on Facebook and it was just kind of like a speed coloring thing. So I thought I would show you how to do a couple of these and kind of show you my inspirations. Let me get all my Stampin' Blends over here out of the way. So we're gonna use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. I always recommend using Whisper White Thick Cardstock for doing um, alcohol-based coloring. It just works the best of all the papers that Stampin' Up! offers. You're always going to need some sort of paper underneath where you're coloring. So I really like this um, grid paper. This is from um, the Stamparatus supplies that's actually what this is for it fits inside the stamp apparatus but i like to use it as just a small piece of grid paper for coloring so we're gonna set that aside um this is my inspiration sheet so i went on pinterest and i made a bunch of these i have a whole pack of them with different color inspirations so i used this one in the corner here and then kind of pulled in a little bit of pink because I needed one more color. So that is where the inspiration for the colors comes from. And they're kind of fall colors actually. I know we're heading into spring and this is a little bit more fall looking, but um, I still think it's really pretty. Oh, thank you so much. Okay, so set the Winka Stella aside. We are not gonna color the whole thing because it it is time consuming. But I've got my stamp apparatus here. I've already got my stamp set in there. And we're gonna put our paper in and I'm going to line it up with this line right here. And then we'll ink it up with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And then I'm going to turn it, line it up with the line again, magnet, ink, more inking, stamp, and we're done there. And then I'm gonna, whoops, I'm just gonna use my Simply Chamois real quick to clean off my surface. I had my daughter watch a few of your videos to learn how to color with alcohol markers. You are great at it. Oh, thank you. You know what, I'm gonna clean off my um, stamp while I'm at this and just put it away rather than having to, to do it again. So we'll just put it back in here and call it good. 
All right. Is it, am I cutting out for anybody else or is it just Joni? Is, is it her computer cutting out for her or is it, or is it me? Hopefully it's not me. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to just focus on coloring this yellow. Uh-oh. Okay. Um, I'm going to focus on just coloring this yellow flower for you because the rest of them are pretty simple. But this yellow flower actually has quite a bit going on in it. So I thought that I would show you how I did that. Um, so one of the things I really like doing with the Stampin' Blends is using different colors to combine that are kind of unexpected. Um, and so we're going to start with... Uh, we're going to start with, which one is this? This is the da Dark Daffodil Delight. And so for this yellow flower, you're going to want to color starting with all the areas that you want to be the darkest. So the way you decide where your shadows go is anywhere that there is another petal laying on top of a petal, it would be darker in that area and anywhere that it meets up with something else, it would be darker in that area. So I'm just kind of putting my shadows in um, under the petals, and then the center of most flowers, uh, most of the time it's darker in the center. This, I don't, this kind of looks like a dahlia to me, but it could be like a Gerber daisy or something. I don't really know. I don't really care. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't really stick to any rules. Okay, this is dark pineapple punch. So as you can see, I'm, I'm now swapping into a totally different color. So I started with Dark Daffodil Delight and now I'm going into Dark Pineapple Punch. And I'm just kind of blending out that edge but leaving space at the end of the flowers. What are you guys up to tonight? Whilst I color, you may as well tell me what you're doing. Let me guess, you're at home, hanging out at home. <laughs> Okay, so then I'm gonna go in with my light pineapple punch and color the tips very gently. So I'm just kind of like going over them one time. So the thing with alcohol markers is the more times you go over, the darker it gets. And I want the ends of this flower to stay really light. So I'm trying really hard not to continually color over the top of them. So now you can see this is the difference before I go to the next step um, between these two. Um, this is still very pretty, but this really has a lot of depth and dimension to it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. You're going to take light, soft suede, which I know you probably did not see coming. Oh, that doesn't stand up. I was hoping it would stand up for you. Um, and we're going to go very light and very gently into the areas that would be the shadows, um, very carefully. And the reason we're doing this last is because we've already laid down ink. And so what this will do, which means the paper is already saturated. So what this will do is it will kind of float in to the paper and move around and soften. If you were to go in with this first, it could really kind of control your flower or your image and you don't want that. So, um, I go in with it last and it moves very nicely all by itself throughout the flower without me having to do any blending. Okay, so there's that. 
And then we're gonna take the dark, um, oops, the dark soft suede and go into the center of the flower with that. Now, if you want to soften that soft suede just a little bit, then you're just gonna go back over with your dark Daffodil Delight. Very easy to do. And then you have this really beautiful kind of golden yellow flower. And then I'm gonna take my light, my lightest color, and just go at the tips and pull it down in. And that is how you end up with this really pretty kind of golden yellow flower. Isn't that pretty? And you never would have thought that I used dark browns in there. Um, and you can see this one is a little darker. It's because as it sits, it's going to absorb into the paper and it will set back some. So right when it gets colored, it's a little bit more vibrant and darker. And as it sits, it's going to calm down into the paper a little bit. Making thank you cards for hospital employees. That's so awesome. Okay, so we're going to finish this card off because I it took me quite a while to color all of that. So instead of sitting and coloring all of this with you, we're going to go ahead and finish this one. So we're using the a, a stitched rectangle from the uh, Ornate Layer dies. It's a long, it actually fits the so grateful sentiment perfectly so we're gonna do that let's grab my embossing stuff here and i'm gonna use the embossing buddy first must have tool if you do any heat embossing and then we're gonna use the so grateful sentiment which would be great to send to a hospital employee i I'm gonna to be totally honest with you. I don't know anybody who works in the industry. Well, that's not true. I know a couple of people, but um, I don't have their addresses or anything. So I'm not sure who to, oh Lord, I stamped that way off kilter. Let's try, th that's why I cut two. That is why I cut two. I'll try this again. Gotta line this up with this grid. I don't know why I didn't bundle this stamp set. This is the only thing I have of the suite. Going to order it tomorrow. Yes, you should, because it's um, it's. I think it's all gonna end up on back order very soon. Okay, so I've got my white embossing powder here. I'm gonna pick this up. Hey, Leticia. And just knock that off into there. Okay. Now I have to heat set this and that's gonna be noisy and I'm sorry. We can talk whilst it's heat, set, heat setting though. Hello in San Antonio. Hey Darlene, how are ya? Thanks for joining me. Darlene is, I think she's a team member of a good friend of mine, Candy. Okay, so now we're gonna heat set this. I have to do it off camera because, well, my cord doesn't quite stretch.
Okay. Oh, good grief. I'm about to make a mess. All right. And then I just like to use the back of my shirt to wipe off the excess embossing buddy powder. And that's done. I know it's very professional of me using my shirt, but you know, whatever. All right. And then these are some pieces I cut from the dies. Um, this is one of the borders die, border dies. And I thought I would just do a little sneak peek of it right here and then we're gonna chop it. So let me grab my glue. All right, I'll just go a little bit out this way. And then we're gonna do a little on this side. I made a paper pumpkin alternative card and gave it to my doc and nurse at my appointment yesterday. Thankful and hopeful for them. Yeah, it's scary for them. God bless them. Okay, so there's that. And then I need to just grab my scissors. And we're gonna snip this off each side. And then I wanna add, I wanted to add these little pieces, which is also from the border dies, but I just, I'm not 100% sure. And yeah, what the heck, let's just, Add a little more glue. Heck yeah, I rub it off on my shirt. Ain't nobody got time for being proper. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue this in place. So have you guys watched Tiger King? Just please tell me if you have, I wanna know. I have a little story for you. So this is vellum that I'm using right now, by the way. And then here we're gonna go the opposite direction. Has anyone used it or watched it? Used it, good grief. Tiger King. It is a TV show, it's on Netflix. So here's the scoop. I totally made fun of it. And I was like, I am not watching that. This is how most things in my life go. I am not watching that. I look so stupid. Because what happened is I walked in the room when my husband was watching it. And it was like right in the middle of a weird scene. Which there's lots of weird scenes in this show. And um, okay, Brianna, I thought the same thing. But it's actually about a murder. It's, I, I had no idea um, I thought that it was just like a stupid show about like some weirdos raising tigers, but it's real, which it is, it is about that, but it's also about a murder. So you guys should watch it because it's very interesting. It's actually a docu-series. I thought it was like a reality TV thing, but it's not. And I was pretty blown away, let me tell you, at... The craziness. It's definitely not child appropriate. It is really weird. And there is lots of disturbing stuff in it as far as like, I guess to me, I was just like, I can't believe there's humans like this that exist. So that's the part of it for me that was like bothersome. But um, it's very entertaining because it just shocks the crap out of you constantly. Okay, so we're doing a bunch of dimensionals on here. You know what? I'm going to layer this down first. Let's get this put on. You guys can see my card okay, right? All right, so I've got 
early espresso cardstock as my base. And then um, I'm going to layer my stamped image here on. And I like this. I like using this glue because I can still like manipulate the paper around a little bit for a second. Not for very long, but okay. Now I'm gonna remove the backing of these. Oh yeah, Susan, you'll have to check it out. It's very interesting. It's very weird. It will blow your mind. I promise you. And then the other TV show that I watch is the is Ozark. And um, they've just released the third season. So I'm only on like the second or third episode. Yes, I finished it. I have finished it. Yes. It's very interesting. So um, that's it. That's my card. So grateful. And then I need to put, you know what? I'm gonna put this layer. I have this piece already cut. So I'll put the this on the inside. And that will be a place for me to write my sentiment. I think I'm gonna add some. Should I add some epoxy droplets to it or just leave it alone? I don't, I don't know if these would be pretty or not. Let me see, if I do them, I think I should do the little ones. I'm obsessed with these, you know. Yeah, Ozark is good, but it is intense and it is disturbing. I mean, there's just, it's, it's wicked. So I'm just going to kind of hide these about because I think they are so beautiful. I'm just obsessed with them. These are the epoxy droplets. little backing came off of that one. There we go. Um, it'll go right here. There. Okay. That's it. That's my card, peeps. I hope you like it. I love it. I think it came together beautifully. So it will be on my blog tomorrow. I will have this video. So if you're watching this video after April 1st, it is a recording. It is not live. Um, and I do not have a giveaway for you guys tonight, but um, I've spent the week trying to get my poop in a group so that I could have, you know, get things going here. I'm very behind on work um, because we've had all kinds of, you know, I've been moving office and um, lots happening with homeschooling and, well, you know, you know all the things that are happening in the world. So, um, I'm going to, hopefully, my goal is to get some stuff on our, my blog. It's your blog, my blog, our blog, whatever. So hopefully that's gonna happen and we'll get some fun stuff going. But I really wanted to show you how beautiful this 
set is. I just love it. And a lot of people are saying that they're not a big fan of it. Um, but I think it's gorgeous personally, and I'm not even a big floral person. Um, Oh, 80 grateful. That's funny. What uh, you doing a live is a prize in itself. Oh, you're very sweet. Thank you, Renee. Renee is on my team. She's just the sweetest. I love her. Don't ever leave me, Renee. <laughs> so anyway, um, I will be live tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. There will be giveaways, but I won't be live here in on my Facebook page. I'll be live in my VIP group. Um, so if you haven't requested to join my VIP group, you need to request to join that in order to see it. So hopefully... Uh, you can join us there to a group. And we'll be live tomorrow. Ah, thank you. I love you too, Renee. Yes, I love the colors. I mean, I know it's a little bit fallish, but you know, I don't care. It's what, it's what called to me. So that's what I did. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. I need to go cook dinner for my fam, bam. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks so much for tuning in and hanging out with me. I know your time is precious. And so when you spend your time with me, it means something to me. Yes. Yes. Demonstrators can join my VIP group. I do not care. That's totally fine. So if you want to request to join my VAP group, just go to um, Facebook search and search Wendy's Love and Stampin' VIPs and it will come up. Okay, I'm going to sign off. Thanks so much, guys. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. And uh, what three colors did you demo on the flower? This is Rococo Rose, Shaded Spruce, Pumpkin Pie and Mango Melody, Pineapple Punch, Daffodil Delight, and Soft Suede. So that's what they are. All right. Thanks so much for hanging out. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.